my hand's cracked though, so I'm gonna keep. <clears> hey <throat> yo. Hey yo. Okay, probably doesn't have Blood Moon then. What does the land do? It does. Oh my goodness. In classic M. Hayashi fashion, it's not bad. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? I mean, these cards are all Pioneer legal. <clears throat> Field of Ruin. Oh, baby. This feels like the, uh, you know, brought a knife to a gunfight type kind of meme. I guess I'll get the Triome. Sure. I mean, I want to leave the basics in my deck if he's got a bunch of Field of Ruins. I'm just going to cast Fable. Uh, let's get Hallowed Fountain. I could have end phased Faithful Mending, which would have been fine, perhaps. <clears throat> Why did I bring a gun to a knife fight? I don't know. Mm -mm. Ramp spell, baby. This is just a pioneer game. Yeah, nothing and <laughs> Restoration of Gajo versus Fable. Literally just pioneer. Yeah, also pioneer legal. Just saying. Everything so far that's cast is pioneer legal. Every spell that's been cast. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, now I can just go white, get basic island. And then use the white floating to play mending in my draw step. And I guess I could have just cast the ring there. <clears throat> my discarding. Kind of want to kill the restoration, weirdly enough. If four cards in hand. Let's discard Falaji Solitude. Yeah, discard Falaji Solitude. And then we can just go pitch Gorios. Well, I, I mean, I could pitch the Gorios to the Fable. Yeah, I guess I am kind of out of discard outlets. Let's do this. Dilt! Sounds good, JS. Have a good one, buddy. Mm, yeah, let's just kill the restoration, I think. Blue, white, black. Could play the ring next turn. Mm -hmm. Five cards in hand. I don't know what I'm worried about him casting this turn. It's an old blue boot boomer do flame guard as gas. Seems good. Yeah, that's true. I guess I still have the mending flashback. Okay, well, I can just mending now and try to find exactly Gorios. Is that better than casting the ring? Probably not, actually. I think it's just better to cast the ring. Just a better use of my mana. <clears throat> and I can main phase activate to try and find a land. Sure. I accept. I accept. Go. Go. You get a wall of omens. How are? Oh, I was gonna say, how is there no no Yorion? I just remember what format we're playing. This would be this would be a really good Yorion deck. I only have one basic left. The One Ring and Hammer Time. No, I'm not going to cast Solitude yet. I just, like, I don't care about any of these creatures. I could just wait. Uh, let's Mending. I'm probably going to Solitude this turn. Just discard both the Traxes. Kind of want to take a peek at what's going on over there. May cast a Solitude in response. But I want to make sure the coast is clear to go for Solitude Ephemerate. Uh, go, I guess? Yeah, we can just pass. And... Oh, I tapped horribly. I should have tapped this. Then they could have had double ephemerate up. <coughs> Field of Ruining my Watery Grave. Uh, Sure, that's fine. Get the last basic. Yeah, I guess I could have kept one of the Atraxas, given that I could just hard cast it. Although, the Field of Ruin's in play, right? And if he if they Field of Ruin my Ketriga Triome, I no longer can cast Atraxa. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't field of ruin my Ketria after I showed them Atraxa. Alright, that's kind of weird. 
Okay, we're just going to fire up the cave, which is like kind of perfect for me. We just get to kill everything. So we go Solitude, Pitch, Prismatic. I think I go for the Solitude first. Because if he drew exactly Ephemerate, you know what I mean? Let me just go kill this block here. All right. Or he just doesn't want to play anymore. <laughs> or we just go to the next game. That works too. Hmm. I mean... Like, what am I supposed to do? I... Okay. Well, I guess I found my answer. All right, sure. Poor... Can we get some 07s in the chat for M. Hayashi? Just 07s, please and thank you. Too many rings, too many rings. I mean, this hand's weird. This hand is really weird. I think it's a keep and put back one of the lands. You can also put back Croxa and hope to draw a white card. Putting back Croaks is definitely safer. Yeah, let's do that. Bolt of Five Bloodstain Fire. Damn. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to not see, given that my hand kind of sucks after they take my Fable. Just hoping they would play Ragavan. Actually getting scammed. Literally getting scammed. Okay. I like that. Mm. Given that I have the Fable in hand, I'm not going to play around Blood Moon. Oh, I see. This is a disaster. I get it. Well, that's bad. Hmm. That's why they took the ending. Does make sense. I guess I can just play Planes, and if they cast Thoughtseize, then I can go Solitude, Pitch of Tracks, I kill this. And if they do nothing, I'll just take three and then play Fable next turn. I want to find another white card to not pitch the Atraxa. Yeah, the attack means they don't have Thoughtseize, because otherwise they would Thoughtseize first. Nothing, I like that. Any white card is great. Yeah, perfect. Because I just, I didn't want to pitch the Atraxa. I mean, it's weird. I also kind of don't want to pitch the... I also kind of don't want to pitch the Mending, because I want to go Mending, discard Atraxa. This is a weird spot. I guess if I draw another white card, I can respond to the Fable, go Solitude, pitch the white card, and then discard the Atraxa to the Fable. That's, like, best case scenario, I think. Yesterday, Mega was undrawn as a scam opponent went Dothy, take Karn, Undying, take the One Ring. Oh, my God. Eh, okay. So now I don't have a choice. So I guess what I do is go... I just go Solitude, pitch Mending, right? Yeah, then they take Grief, and I discard Atraxa to Fable. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually kind of fine. <laughs> Would they target? They even have targets? I don't even have targets. I guess they just wanted it in their graveyard, which also makes sense. Um, I think I should discard the Falaji... No, because I have a mana source here. I should keep this, because this gets me three more looks at a Goryos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I guess I could just do that instead. Guess I could just do that instead. <laughs> Given that that also gives me protection from getting griefed again. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, I should main phase in case I hit a tap land. All right, go. This card is so fucked up. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> yeah, protects you against Thoughtseize and Grief, which is like so messed up. I'm just going to get a basic. I don't want to get Blood Mooned. Yeah, this card's so messed up. Just wait for a sign. Ah, draw some cards. Um, I think I should... Balaji first. I should not have tapped the planes, though. I should have left up these two. Because now I can't ephemerate. That was bad. Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? I guess I'm a little bit worried about them finding a Fury. Yeah, Tradesies is fine. I mean, how worried am I about Fury? <coughs> I know, I should have left up the planes. 
Eh, fuck it, we fall. This is fine. Like, how bad can it really go? We could even upkeep the... We, we can ring before we Fable to, like, find more cards to discard to Fable. As soon as we find Gorios, the game's over. Eh. I don't want to block. Oh, blocking is a little bit worse if they have a scam spell. Whatever, I'll take. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to see a lot of cards next turn. All right, I will lose two life. A small price to pay. All right, uh, I can just hard cast Crook, so. Never would I. I mean, I guess that works too. They're just gonna scoop to the Gorios. Care about Bowmaster? Well, if they if they cast Bowmaster, oh, you're saying they could respond to the ring? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. This card is just like it's it's just not okay. <laughs> I wasn't like. I don't know. I, I wasn't sure exactly how I felt about it before today's stream. Uh, but I've been casting this card for like uh, only a little over five and a half hours. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. I don't even want to get scam. I think the discard spells are kind of mid. Kind of like Soul Guide to prevent their scam. <clears throat> Probably the fourth prismatic ending. Is Bowmaster good in this matchup? Mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Like Bowmaster against them. Maybe the lanterns are bad. I could also just shave like a faithful mending and bring in the Bowmasters. Like Spell Pierce is good against Scam. Would you play Spell Pierce over any of these cards? Like is Spell Pierce better than Soul Guide Lantern? This is modern. I know it doesn't feel like modern, but it is modern. Maybe Spell Pierce in the play. Well, Soul Guide is equally as bad on the draw, right? They're they're both pretty bad on the draw. Maybe I should have neither and just play. Like, I guess you could argue that Thoughtseize is better on the draw. We could try Thoughtseize over Lantern. Although, if they have Kroxa, I'm a little worried about Kroxa. No, nah, I shouldn't be, because I have Solitudes. Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> What's up, Rob? Mm -mm. Lands and spells against Scam, gotta keep it. Not gonna get punked by a Ragavan. Two fetches for basics. <laughs> Fuck the mending. Interesting. It's not a bad one. That's actually perfect, because now I can just go Thoughtseize into... I can go Swamp Thoughtseize into Island Falaji and still have all four colors. Yeah, that's kind of the perfect draw. I mean, they definitely don't have Voidwalker, because they would have taken Prismatic Ending. Do I care about Blood Moon? Given that I have Swamp Island? I still kind of care about it. Probably, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't have white mana. It's not very good. I'm just going to get a basic island. We're broken and bleeding. Um, Thoughtseize is actually pretty good here, because they're going to cast Spyro this turn, and I can just take whatever good card they get off Spyro. The ending move with three colors. Well, the issue is I don't have basic planes. I only have access to Island Swamp. <clears throat> so I, I have no access to white mana if I let them at Blood Moon. At the Catacombs, right? They kept the Bolt. I guess they kept the Bolt because they discarded two lands. That was a pretty funny draw step. Um, So I have the Voidwalker covered with Ending and the Ragavan covered with Bowmaster. So I think I just take Bolt. I'm kind of playing with my hand face up by holding up the Bowmaster here. But I mean, I think it's fine. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Uh, I think I still cast it. Yeah, I still cast it. Like, if they didn't find exactly Bolt, what are they going to do? Not, like, just not discard with Fable, which is also fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, now what? Guess I could prismatic ending the goblin shaman token and then hold up faithful mending. I just do nothing. Just hold up mending and ephemerate. It's like let them have the treasure. I mean, other hand is Ragavan Voidwalker. Kind of want to save the prismatic ending for the Voidwalker, anyways. 
I think I'm just going to let them have the goblin. Because I, I do kind of need to kill the Voidwalker. Fury is bad. Well, the thing is, if they... They'd have to, like, exactly draw Fury. And they're just going to lead Voidwalker. I guess that makes sense. Maybe I should have shocked. Because <clears throat> now I have to respond to this. Well, that sucks. Okay, so they, they bricked, but they just didn't want to use the Orc army, which makes sense. I'm just going to take two. I think this was an Ephemerate turn, not a Mending turn. Oh, you just wanted to Ephemerate the Falaji? That's interesting, but not that great. It does kill the Ragavan, but I kind of already have the Ragavan covered. Oh, you wanted to Ephemerate the Bowmaster. I see. We don't know what their last card is. Yeah, I know it'd be a 2-2 army. It's a weird spot. I kind of think I have to start by killing the Voidwalker. Yeah, I think I have to kill the Voidwalker this turn. And then I can try to set up Bowmaster plus Ephemerate Bowmaster to kill this. Yeah, I think that's my line. I, I can't do it this turn. I do have to kill this Voidwalker. And then I guess we just pass, hold up Bowmaster. Yeah, passing is fine. I agree, we're definitely in a good spot. <clears throat> I mean, it kind of all goes out the window if they draw Fury. <laughs> um, I could try to kill the Goblin Shaman token if they have Fury, but I think that's bad. Okay, so I'll just go <clears throat> block the Pyromancer, block the Ragavan, take two. Undying Malice. Uh, do I... Well... I guess I could respond Ephemerate Bowmaster, kill the Ragavan, upkeep Ephemerate Bowmaster again, ping here, play second Bowmaster, ping here. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's bad if they drew a Fatal Push or a Lightning Bolt. Okay, so ping this. Mid damage, I take two. And then, yeah, we go upkeep, flicker this, play second Bowmaster. It's a good draw. I do have to kill this, though. I can't not let them have the reflection. Oh. Wait, no, that's not a good draw. Let's <laughs> kill this. <laughs> See ya. Oh, uh, shit. I mean, I guess it was fine. You do what you gotta do, I guess, right? You do what you gotta do. All right, Bowmasters is kind of sick. Uh, I guess I can kill the Shaman token? You could also just for ephemerate the Falaji and try to find a Traxa, right? I think that's better. Now that I've dealt with the Fable, I think this is better. Because we just win if we find the Traxa. Okay, no Traxa. That's pretty fucking good, too. I think I'll cast that one. Thank you very much. I think I will cast that one. Yeah, possibly. Just getting a thick army token. Uh, mm -hmm. Main phase in case I draw a tap land. Not bad. Gets us more looks at the tracks next turn. <coughs> we can even Falaji and Goryos if they even if they find Blood Moon. They're only attacking for a treasure. I actually thought about leaving back the 4 4 to punish the goblin attack if they have Fury. Because like they kind of have to attack. Oh, just a 3 2 that does nothing because I have protection from your grief. What's up, Sphexus? How you doing, buddy? I'll, uh, I'll draw some more cards. I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw some more cards. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Done? All right, we're done. Chat, this deck is busted. <laughs> we are currently 7-0 uh, and with this deck. Have not lost a match yet. Um, this one's close. I'm gonna ship it, but it is close, I think. Mm. Better. He has a home for sure in Toronto, not Math Pile. The jury is still on other decks getting jammed into. Some of them are better, but not still top tier. Yeah, I agree. That sounds about right. Schmirk died. I feel like this matchup is. Probably not 
great for us? That would be my assumption. Yeah, I'm going to play around Main Deck Blood Moon. It's becoming a little bit more common recently. So I'm just going to get Basic Plains, Basic Island, because I already have the Swamp in hand. I have an additional land after, so I think it's kind of free to play around Blood Moon. Could be Breach. I mean, it could be, yeah. I'm just, I, I'm assuming Murktide with this start. But it definitely could be Breach. Four cards, Delirium. Big Sag. I mean, yeah, no, this is fine. I was, I said it and I just got the wrong land. All right, whatever, it's fine. I know, I I literally just said I was going to play around Blood Moon, and I just clicked on the wrong fucking land. It's not that big of a deal. Ah, uh, boy, these do not help. These definitely do not help whatsoever. Six cards in hand. I mean, can I even play towards casting the ring? We'll certainly have a counter spell. I think I might just discard Grief Ring. You know what's funny? My only untapped red source is Sacred Foundry. It's, it's funny depending on who you ask. Representing Spell Pierce. I want to find a Prismatic Ending so I can, like, force some action out of them. <coughs> oh, or I could just Brick. Alright, well, that's... I think that's the first time in eight matches that I Brick with that card. I mean, it does happen, but... Like, that is legitimately the first time that I bricked. I'm gonna kill it anyways. Hmm. Not going well. Maybe I should have discarded the Goryos. Potentially kept the ring. Maybe that would have been better. Hmm. Well, we are dead. We have been defeated. Oh, I milled the Savai Triumph too, so I can't even get that. That's awkward. Do I have any outs? Um, I guess I can Faithful Mending into a white card. Discard Atraxa, Solitude, pitch the other white card next turn, go for Goryos. I might just Spell Pierce this. What do we have for a red mana? We have Fable. Uh, okay. It's actually kind of perfect, because now I can go for double Goryos next turn if they have Counterspell. I'm just going to do this main phase, but they don't have Counterspell up. That's, like, kind of the perfect kind of the perfect outcome. Like, white card plus second Goryos. Because now we can play... Now we can beat one Counterspell. Oh, lands, you mean. We have a Sacred Foundry, a Ketria Triome, and a Savai Triome, which is in the graveyard. I did trophy the last league, yeah. Okay, we knew about that. Care Bear, what color do you want? Man, I made that thing so cheap and nobody ever redeems it. Mm -mm. I think they're guaranteed to have two counters. Surely they will not have two counter spells, I assure you. Misery. I promise you, chat, they will not have two counter spells. Mm -mm. Oh, well, now they actually can have two counter spells. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I wasn't lying. I didn't think they were actually going to sack the eyelid. I kind of passed assuming they would just untap. Alright, trigger. Oh, we found the FM ray too. So goaded. Instant creature. Sorcery. Uh, This is going to get planes anyways. So I guess I'll take a Hallowed Fountain. And then I can go crack fetch for a planes. And just ephemerate now and pay for spell beers. I mean, the Atraxa was in the graveyard. They kind of had to have a, some sort of an idea of what was going on, right? Uh, ephemerate, instant creature, sorcery, enchantment, land. So I have nine cards. Do I go for Solitude now? No, I think I just discard a Traxa land. I think I discard a Traxa land. <laughs> 20 looks, but no ring. 
Well, I've, I found one. I, the the ring I had on on my opening hand I discarded. Okay, I don't know what their plan is here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and block your ragaban. I guess they have in holy heat, but they know about ephemerate. I mean, they don't really have a choice, right? They're gonna go unholy heat and then spell pierce. <laughs> They're gonna double bolt. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bolt resolves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right. Fine, 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 fine. I mean, they definitely have spell pierce, which is fine, but I, I still beat spell pierce because I have second Gorios. They just had to hope that I didn't, that I didn't have the second Gorios, but now they have lost. So much more. Two cards left. I'm gonna get max value out of this. I don't get to attack, but I get to draw way more cards. <laughs> I get to draw a lot more cards. All right, what are we boarding against Murktide? Hmm. Yeah, the same Ephemerate. A Bowmaster. Bowmaster is pretty good against Ragavan and DRC. Probably want the Prismatic ending too. Like, do I want Spell Pierce? Do I want Teferi? Do I want Soul Guide? I don't think I want either of these. These are all like kind of reasonable. I guess the question is what's bad because when i look at this deck list i don't really see a lot of bad cards against them maybe the ring is too bad against pierce should i be cutting some number of rings because it is kind of mid against pierce yeah one of these days i'll splice i guess fable is also bad against pierce i think i want all the ephemerates because ephemerate solitude is so busted but at least two rings yeah i agree grief is probably medium too i'd honestly rather just fight them on the stack I know you can't ring you can't needle ring. I I I saw that on Twitter Slater. Cut an Atraxa. I guess four is kind of a lot. What if I cut an Atraxa and play like two spell pierce? I guess I could also cut a fable for a third pierce. You like Teferi over Fable? I could buy that too. Although, no, because they're gonna bring in Blood Moon, right? I want to keep in a couple of fables for Blood Moon. Trimagorios too. Keep the fable. I'll buy that. Tep is so good. I think I like Teferi a lot more on the play than the draw. That makes sense. So I can get Swamp, but if I get Swamp on turn one, then I can't play Faithful Mending. So weirdly enough, I think the, the correct land to play is Island, so that if I draw a way to find a Basic Plains, I can get the Basic Plains in play before they Blood Moon me. Because I want to cast Mending on two. Does that make sense? I think the ring is only missing from Needle. I don't know if there are other cards that are that like the ring is missing from. Like I, I wonder if people have tried Necromentia. I wonder if it shows up in the database when you try to Necromentia or Unborn Ego stuff like those kind of cards. Yeah, Sorcerer Spyglass too. I'd be curious to see if if all that stuff is affected because it might just not be in the database. Okay. Well, now I just do this. This is kind of the downside. Because now if they Blood Moon me, I don't have the opportunity to get Basic Swamp. Whereas if I had led with Delta, then I could have went Basic Swamp into Godless Shrine Prismatic Ending and still have Swamp Island. So this is slightly worse against against um, Shredder into Blood Moon. It doesn't show up in Searching Within the Format. Oh, so it's just like the, all of the cards that, that pull up a card name. Just all of them are, are offline. Are they going to play a 4-4? I'm going to Dash Ragavan. I'm not going to Solitude that. Yeah, literally breaking the entire format. Okay, I drew the planes anyways. <laughs> it almost hit the planes. That was hilarious. Um, This is kind of awkward. I guess I can go planes mending and try to find Thoughtseize. I do kind of want to take that Ragavan. This doesn't hold up Pierce. That is particularly awkward. I think I'm just going to give up Basic Swamp. Because I want to have red for Fable. Yeah, I might actually consider solituding the Ragavan this turn. We'll see what they do. I don't want to. Because if I solitude Ragavan and they find Murktide, it's really bad for me. Okay. Well, hopefully I can just draw Ephemerate and kill them, because they're going to play Murktide here. They're going to play Ragavan. Holding up Spell Pierce. Also bad if I go for this. 
That doesn't really help me, does it? I mean, maybe I just can't afford to respect the spell beers. Yeah, they, they've been to Murktide. It's so obvious they have it, right? I mean, can I play around it? What's my alternative? Like, Shock Fable, I guess. I guess I could try to bait the Pierce with Fable, and then slam the ring next turn. It's, like, kind of fine. But I like casting the ring this turn, because I can Fable and Mending next turn. So I'm just gonna fucking jam it. Pog. See, you just jam your cards. They don't always have the spell pierce, right? They can't always have it. <clears throat> Alright, I will take no damage. I take no damage, Giga Chad. Alright, really looking for an Ephemerate. That's pretty good, too. Interesting. Um... I think I want to mending. No, I should prismatic ending first, and then I can mending. I might just counter this. But if they ha if they drew spell pierce, I think I'd much rather have them counter this. Okay, that's fine. They have two cards, which we presume are not spell pierces. Femrate would be nice. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. So we're taking eight. I may have to just cast Solitude here. They have one card left. They kept the card on top, which definitely could be Murktide. I mean, it could be anything, right? Yeah, I think I have to kill one of the channelers. I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, they didn't have Pierce. Oh, that's why they couldn't counter the ring, because they're playing Flusterstorm. They had that last turn. That does make a lot of sense. Seems particularly bad to be playing Flusterstorm in a ring for in a ring meta, huh? No, <laughs> no. How could this happen? Why couldn't I just have that in my hand? <laughs> One card deep, huh? Shit. Yeah, we get a lot of looks at Atraxa. Well, I can't necessarily. I won't necessarily be able to discard it, right? Jesus Christ. Those are uh, those are magic cards. Funny enough, I don't have a I don't have a white card in my hand. Uh, I think we have to Falaji and look for a white card. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah, we can we can Bowmaster the mo the monkey. They're gonna counter this. Oh, I see. So I should respond. Oh wait, I can kill the Channeler now. Wait, that's sick, right? Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, I needed to play the Bowmaster first. No. Yeah, if I Bowmaster first. Right, 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 right. I'm an idiot. Fuck. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, if I Bowmaster first, put one damage on the Channeler, then this resolves and it dies to state-based effects. Yeah, that was bad. I realize now. Mm, I guess I can flashback Mending and try to find a White Guard. Last card's counter spell. Sucks. Dead. Not technically, because I can upkeep Faithful Mending before I die to the ring. No, no, no. I can upkeep Mending. Hmm. Probably dead to that. Alright, so, yeah. If I had just played the Bowmaster in response, killing the Channeler, it would have been in a much, much better spot. Good to know. That was kind of a throw. Mm, mm, mm. I just gotta make it fair, alright? Why are they attacking with Ragavan? Mm. Alright, Mending, Upkeep... I guess we'll leave up not red mana. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, alright, yeah... I guess I got a ringed again to try to find a mending. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Mm, let's try to ferry over Fable on the play. I think I like that swap. And uh, the thought teases get a lot better if I'm bringing in Teferi, because that's one that I really want to try to protect. Yeah, I could have also cast the mending before they drew. I was just auto-yielded to it. Yeah, well, I mean, Fable gets around Fluster too, but Teferi not only gets around Fluster, but also Colts their Fluster. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would have necessarily won that game if I had, if I had played the Bowmaster in response. I would have def definitely given myself another turn. It's funny because they had exactly Spell Pierce, and they couldn't Spell Pierce the Bowmaster. So yeah, that would have been much better. Yeah, that is true. Fable. No, 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 Fable. All right, play first. No, 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 no. Um, this hand is really awkward. Definitely keeping it. But the, God, the Polluted Delta kind of has to get Godless Shrine. But if I Godless Shrine, I can't hold up Spell Pierce on turn two. But I think that's fine. Yeah, I got to get Godless Shrine. It's not like they're going to really play anything worth spell piercing on turn two anyways. Counter spell, dress down, fluster, storm, bauble. Okay, their hand's extremely reactive, which is good for my hand. I'm just going to take counter spell. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, that does make sense. All right, they did not draw channeler, thank God. Because my hand was really bad if they drew channeler there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not a terrible draw step. We need to find a land. Do you have to find a land? Land. Okay. So now we can go Prismatic Inning Spell Pierce. Because they're going to fight over this with Fluster. Oh, right. I can't fight over Fluster Storm because I have Spell Pierce. True. Uh, and I have Ketria with no second white. Mm. I mean, it's not a punt, right? Like, what else am I going to do? Am I going to just not cast it? I have two anyways. So they have Spire Bluff, Misty, Bauble, Fluster. We know about Vent's Dress Down. I'm not solituding this, am I? So bad if they have if they drew Murktide. I mean, I almost feel like it's worth it. All right, I'm going to do it. I don't, I don't know if I love this play, but I'm going to do it. It feels really bad, but I think I kind of have to. Well, the thing is, if they play exactly Murktide this turn, it's actually not that bad, because then if they don't, if they didn't draw Spell Pierce, then I can jam to Fairy. question is, do I go for Tef? We know two of their four cards. Probably go for Tef? It's probably worth going for. Our draw step has been pretty good. And even if I had waited to draw land four for Tef, they can pay for dispute regardless. Another good draw step. All right. Well, we had a good run. I think we are about to end the 7 0 streak. The fun police. Actual fun police. Your turn. It'd be nice if I drew relevant cards. Doesn't help that they drew six lands against my spell pierce. All right. Well, mending can maybe get us out of this. It's unlikely. Like they've almost certainly found a counter spell by now. It's a good start. Can pay for spell pierce and fluster too. Which is nice. Cannot pay for that one. <laughs> Playing living in and keep seeing people win with it and keep being hated to the ground. <laughs> yeah, I mean we've we've played against a lot of living in tonight. Alright, we're dead. Ditch. I think we've played against it like at least six, maybe seven times. Um I think I've only I, I lost a bit once with the first deck, but I think I've beaten it like five or six times. Just want to keep this and thought to use myself on turn one. No, it's not right. Okay, I guess this is better. Well, that's the point. The Merktide players have to work really hard to get their to get their percentage points. Hmm. Like it feels very, very similar to remember 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 when Jund was, you know, like 
arguably the best deck or the most played deck in the format. Some, some would say it was the best deck. It feels very similar to that, where you're like, it feels like you can get to 50% sometimes, but it's just like, I don't know. There are a lot more powerful things you can be doing. Yeah, it's like a it's like a 51% deck. Guess we just play Falaji. Seems fine. Mm, do I think there's one single best deck in modern? I mean, if like if you if I had to pick one, I'd probably say creativity. But you could make an argument for a lot of different decks. Right, I, I agree with you. It it is very rewarding, and that's kind of what Jun used to be. Like back when, right, like right around when Fatal Push came out, and a ton of people were playing Jund. I think that was that was really what what put it over the top. <clears throat> and I guess like when Red and Six sprinted in MH one, I think a lot of people were playing it then too. But it feels it feels very very similar to Jund. Like it's not a, it's not a bad deck. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you that Murktad is a bad deck. It's just like it feels like you have to kind of work a little bit harder for your wins than most of the other decks. If that makes sense. Go for shardless. Um, so I think I was supposed to hold up faithful mending. Yeah, that might have been better. And then if they go for this, I can just discard a track so plus this. Because now I kind of feel obligated to solitude pitch. Measure faithful with Falaji. Oh, that's why I didn't keep it up. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to pitch a Traxa? I kind of feel like I need this Faithful to filter through these lands. Because I don't have a lot left. Yeah, I think we just have to pitch a track, so it feels bad. But I don't even have a Gorios yet. So I think we just have to do this. And then this is going to kill one of the Generous Ents, and we can use the Ephemerate to kill the other these other two idiots. It's an interesting draw. Um, let's, I guess, just cast that first. That is another chump blocker. And then I think I should ephemerate main phase so that if they have force negation. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, I guess I could also run the block, the the block this solitude ephemerate or block this ephemerate the solitude kill this take less damage. But that's really bad if they just have Force. I mean, I can't really beat Force anyways. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. I have to assume that they don't have Force. Kind of feels like they have Force. Really a ton I can do about it. Alright, so block here, block here. They're in a good spot if they don't have Force. Yeah, unsurprising. Sucks. And now we have, like, nothing left. Well, we could just draw Gorios, I guess. That is, unfortunately, not a Gorios. Dude, there is so much living end today. It's absurd. So much living end. This is, I think, literally, I think the eighth time I've played against it today. Seventh or eighth. It's nuts. I mean, it's a good deck. Oh, Alperus kills us exactly. Yep. All right, all right. Let's bring in Lanterns, Chalices, Teferis, Pierces. Cut Prismatic Endings. Um, what were we cutting before? I can't remember now. I was cutting Fable. I, I was cutting Grief Thoughtseize, but I kind of think keeping, keeping Thoughtseize and Shaving Rings are better. Seems fine. No, let's actually... Mm, I really don't like Thoughtsies against the deck with all cyclers. Yeah, let's just not do the Thoughtsies. I'll have, like, one Grief in my deck. Grief is okay, because it, it can, you can actually just get it back off Living End. So it's a little bit better than Thoughtsies. Why so much Living Fail? I mean, I've talked about this before. I, I think Living End is actually the, like... Obviously, the One Ring is the most powerful card in the set. I'm not going to disagree with you there. But I think Living End is the singular deck that improved the most from the printings like the thing about the ring is it goes in so many different decks and the cyclers really only go in exactly one deck but i think the cyclers are more important to living end 
because like they're so important to that archetype and how the deck plays and it just adds this other this adds almost an entire new dimension to the living end deck it's just like it is unbelievable how good the the one mana cyclers are in living end it's, it's kind of scary when you when you think about it like how efficient it now is mm -mm -mm. alright play first yeah I don't think this is gonna do it it's probably gonna have to do back the ring keep three lands in case I draw Teferi I love it but get Goblet Shrine more graveyard hate than lands, yeah. Basically. <laughs> Need to draw some good cards. Good cards, good cards. Preferably a faithful mending. Be a good one to bin this. How many sub gifts for a deck tech on revision of that pioneer legendary grease list? Uh deck techs are two gifteds or ten dollar redos. Should evoke the Atraxa. I would love to. Evoke the Atraxa, trigger on the stack ephemerate. Okay, that's not a horrendous draw. Can you retroactively claim 50 deck decks? <laughs> You're scaring me over here. You're scaring me, Bleach Out. Gilly, thank you for the 28 months. Appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate the support. And we got Tomatron with the two gifties. If you got gifted a sub from Tomatron, be sure to thank them in the chat. Drop a link to the deck list in the chat, Tomatron, turn, return, return, return. And I would love to take a look. You can't dodge if you're already subbed. You're going to force the action on Lantern, I guess. Okay. I mean, I could just spell Pierce instead of Lanterning. Pierce helps Pierce saving Pierce helps me fight over force negation down the road, which I think I like a little bit better, but it is close. Well, that presumes that I draw relevant cards. But yeah, Tomatron, if you just want to drop a link to the deck in the chat, I'd love to take a look at it. If you got a link. Mm -mm 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 I'm already at 13. I guess I did I did fetch shock on turn one. Are they use the pierce to get them get on one of their end shots? Maybe. I mean Pierce, like their 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 relevant cards all cost three mana. I don't I don't know. Pierce could be relevant down the road. I guess it's not as good against like fighting over force. Because if they just pitch cast force, they can pay for Pierce. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All right, Tomatron, thank you for the link, buddy. What we got? Oh, well, uh, I guess I'll take that. Thank you very much. Well, this is gas, because then next turn I can fight on their turn with Gorios. Yeah, this is, like, kind of perfect. Kind of the Stone Cold Nuts. It's the reason for Lantern over Spellbomb, because some sometimes they play Leyland of Sanctity. Oh, I see. They're going to force the issue now. And then pitch cast force while I can't pierce. I mean, I have to go for it, right? Like, I can't not go for it. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, they just have a second endurance. Okay, well, I guess that also sucks. Sometimes they play... Oh, yeah, you're just typing in chat. All right, Tomatron, what you got for me? Force Grelve, Diligent Excavator... Oh, so you've incorporated the Rona combo in. I don't hate that. Definitely for Grelve. Hold on a second. Let me just play this game real quick. Opponent's making me do things. I don't want to do things. I lose my mind. <laughs> They're making me do things. I just, I don't want to do things. Okay, love for a Skrell, four Rona, four Emery, four Grease Fang. That all makes sense. So you've added two Jaces to pair with the Rotas as additional discard outlets, which I also like. Diligent Excavator is really cool because you can target yourself to try to dig for a Parhelion if you don't have one. 
All right, we found a grief. Uh, what am I really doing this turn? Am I just hard casting grief? Nine. No, let's do this. I'm gonna lead on this. Oh, well. Oh, we don't have the uh, the Gorios. So we'll take Pierce. Mm, I guess I can ephemerate again to try and find Gorios, but I'm not going to go for Gorios because I want to hold up Pierce's. Oh, those are magic cards. The book looks good. Yeah, maybe the other, maybe the option, maybe the line was like Grief Pitch Attracts and Ephemerate the Grief. But I really wanted to just try and find a Gorios. Let's take Teferi. We'll take Teferi and then just pass. And then we can go block here, go to six. Next turn, get two more looks at Gorios, which I think I like. Well, the other line was to just like on the second Ephemerate, not take a card and just make a one four and then block here, which was reasonable. But I'm only preventing one damage by doing that because I block the Endurance and still take two that way. Okay, my Pierces are kind of dead now. Now we get two more cards off the Ephemerate, which is nice. Just looking for Agorios. All right, ding, 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 ding. Oh, I should not have auto-yielded to the rebound. Ah, uh, if I didn't auto-yield to the rebound, I could have Agorios in response to this. That would have been so much better. And folks, this is why you don't auto-yield. Yep, this is why you don't auto yield. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not bad. Well, now I can actually go for. I can Chalice first. I can actually kind of do it all, right? We can jam Tef first. Because Tef is more likely to matter than Spell Pierce, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if they fight over this. They shouldn't, because if they cast Living End, I get these back and they lose anyways. Grief here first. I think leading with this is better. I'm going to Grief next, but I think leading with this is better. Okay, let's look at some of these numbers. So Excavator is needed for the combo. Jace is good. 4 Skrull, 4 Rona, 4 Emmy, 4 Grease Fang. I'm not sure that I love the Can't Stay Away. Also, do you really need the main deck Reservoir? Oh, I guess you need it for the combo. Um, Is that better than what's the benefit of playing reservoir over like is there any way we can incorporate karn probably not hmm because you could also fey of wishes oh maybe yeah oh sure 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 you can combo with excavator i guess you don't even need the reservoir at that point right we could just probably not even play this because you already have the excavator i'd almost rather have a second excavator okay they're gonna respond what? Why are they responding to the Chalice with Endurance? That's weird. Okay, well, I guess I'll respond. And Gorio's the Croxa? And then I can double Pierce up still. So their last two cards have to be exactly Force Blue card. Okay, they weren't. Cool. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four... Five. This gets back a Traxa. And then if they cast Living End, I could just double Pearson and win. Nice for Emery to bring back. Yeah, but I just like, I feel like you don't even need it. I would almost rather have the fourth Tyvar. Like, at my instinct would be to cut the Can't Stay Away and cut the Reservoir for fourth Tyvar and second Excavator. Um, Just because, like, the thing about the Excavator, as far as your win conditions are concerned, like, I understand you're worried about... Well, I guess if you mill it over... Oh, okay, that's why. So, you can make infinite mana, and then just flashback... Like, if you mill over the Excavator, right, you can go make a million mana, can't stay away, bring back Excavator, that's the joke. Okay, so, at that point, you could probably split the Excavator and the can't stay away, because it is, like... Milling over this is better with Grease Fang, but I, I still think you're probably better off just cutting the Reservoir for the fourth, ty fourth Tyvar, because Tyvar is also a kill when you have Rona Helix, right? Yeah, the Can't Stay Away is nice. I think I like that. Um, Four Skrelv. Yeah, so all those numbers look good. Would maybe consider the fourth Mox Amber. You can probably get away with Shaving a Land. We're still playing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I thought they would have scooped by now. 
All right, back to the deck tech. So yeah, I think I would go cut the reservoir for the fourth tie bar, and I think you can probably get away with shaving a land. Dude, come on, just scoop. Uh, creature, planeswalker. Uh, I mean, who cares? Like, eh, instant mm, land. Uh, endurance resolves. <clears throat> I accept. Endurance does, in fact, resolve. Once we get to sideboarding, we'll do we'll do the deck tech a little bit more. A little more involved with it, because they're gonna scoop when I cast the two pierces. I would like to cast Spell Pierce. Unless they have Fawn. They only have one card left. Even if their last card is exactly Mystical Dispute, they have no way out. Because they dispute, but then I just pierce again. Alright, enough. Have we had enough? So, uh, play it out, or... We could, uh, we, we could play it out if you want. If you want, we could play it out. All right, cool. I'm not going to change my deck, so let's take a look at the deck. Perfect timing. Okay, so four Squelve, good. Four Rona, four Embry, four Grease Fang, perfect. Um, I kind of want to fit the fourth Mox Amber as well. So, yeah, I, I think I would probably cut the Aether Flux Reservoir for the fourth Tyvar, and I would consider shaving a land for the fourth Mox Amber. Like, one thing that I realized when playing this deck... Tomatron is the draws that involved Mo like Mox Amber Skrelv. Now, you, you don't have a ton of one drops for Mox Amber, but even just like allowing you to, even if you have Mox Amber and a two mana legend, just being able to jump to jump from like casting Chariot on turn three is kind of fucked up, or even like casting Tyver on turn two. Like, I think Mox just, Mox just gives you this like so, so much busted draw potential that I think it is worth playing four copies. So I would personally cut a Reservoir, again, Reservoir for Tyvar, and then I'd cut a land for the fourth Mox. I honestly like everything else. I don't really think there's much I would change here. As far as the Mana Basin's concerned, like, obviously four Plaza of Heroes, those are a slam dunks. Past that, I'm trying to think of, like, Mana Base was a little awkward. I feel like you probably want a third Mana Confluence. So maybe my suggestion would be cut the third Odawara for the third Mana Confluence, and then cut the second Takanuma when you're adding the spell. I think you need more green for Tyvar. One. So if you add a Mana Confluence, that'd be one, two, three, four, eight. You only have nine. What if we played... Uh, I was going to say Razor Verge Thicket, but Razor Verge Thicket's really awkward because it doesn't cast any of your blue cards. But... You could, like, shave a courtyard for one thicket. Just do some trimming, maybe. Yeah, maybe you have to suck it up and just play four mana confluence. That could be a thing as well, where you just cut all the courtyards, add two confluences and a razor verge, and then you're on four confluence, four razor verge, then you go, like, you start there, then you go two Odawara, two Takanuma. Uh, that gets you to 12, so we need 10 more lands. And then your next 10 lands are, like, maybe, like, one Thicket, two Dark Slick, two Sea Chrome, one Courtyard. And then you go, like, one of each shock. So you go Pool, Garden, Grave, Godless. Because I think that gets you to 10. Or 22. <laughs> the Rise Ad, yeah. Um, as far as the sideboard is concerned, I think I like most of these cards... Trying to think, I love I love that you have the Crypt and the Hope to go with Embry. I think those are pretty smart, as well as the Needle. I would probably play four Portable Hole and just go down to. I think I'd cut the March and just play four Hole because the importance of having like you can just mill over extra copies and get them back with Embry. So I think I'd prefer that over the one March. Uh, is this hand good? This hand is weird as hell. Let's try it. It does have like two really good cards in it. It just feels like a weird hand. But yeah, I think those are my, those are my thoughts mostly. But I, I pretty much like everything else you've done with the deck, Tomatron. I think it looks really good. Did not really want to draw the third Atraxa. What did we lose to? We lost to Schmirktide. Playing some Reanimator. 
ring animator. Could have went the discard. Maybe that was better. I definitely could have just went the discard. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Something we did earlier when we played, when we played against Living End. And maybe I should have done it there. Yeah, I didn't think this this league would take that long, but I got to give these rings back to Shane at some point. <laughs> I'm not trying to hold them hostage. <laughs> Banger song, by the way. Force of Vigor. Tank, tank, force. I don't know why we thought that long. We got to give it a little more time, chat. We can't just assume that, you know, that's going to happen. We got to give it a little bit more time. Could not play my land this turn. I think that's pretty bad, though. Yeah, I mean, given that they had Force of Vigor, I definitely got punished for not just going to discard. I mean, not it's not necessarily true, Patty. There's definitely still some decks that don't play it. Like Living In, for example. Although, funny enough, I kind of want to try it in Rhinos. Okay, I'm going to Solitude pitch Atraxa. What say you? How did you like to do Falling Universe? Reimagine cover that I posted in Discord. It was, uh, it was definitely something. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely something. I don't, I don't quite know what to think of that. It's not bad. It's just, it's really different. Really different. It's definitely interesting. D different vibe, you know? <clears throat> yeah, Tron with the ring is pretty good. Tron, that's one of the decks that I think is really exceptional with the ring. This deck has felt really good, too. Let's get the Sabai Triumph. I could have gotten a second blue source there. Uh, X? Not sure which one of these two I want to cast this turn. I honestly probably rather resolve the ring but yeah it was de it was definitely a unique take there was a lot going on there yeah i think it's probably better to go for the ring i mean if they have force negation i'd rather have them force to ferry oh, are they casting endurance that's pretty bad for me sure definitely gonna cast ring now now that they have to pitch cast force go sucks that i can't kill this all right, good that they didn't have force. Draw a card. Untap. Draw some more cards. We are drawing cards, baby. That's a pretty good chump blocker. Let's do that. Try to find solitude. Maybe I should have Teferi'd first. That's kind of a gasser. So we can go Chalice, get Basic Island, play Teferi. I 100% fucked up. I should have played Teferi first. I should have played Tef first. I think I might uptick, depending on what they do. Okay, well, I guess I'm not upticking at all. Yeah, the last league that we 5 up was with this deck. We decided to run it back. Games with this deck have taken so long. Gotta crack food. How do I win? Can never win if they crack the food. I'm actually approaching hardcast territory. I do have the green source in hand. Sure. I'm not going to cast the solitude here. There's really no point. Like, they have no cards. They can't live again, anyways. Okay. They're hellbent. We have a chalice in play. So we go to eight... I mean, if I don't find a chump blocker, I am dead. But I'm dead anyways, right? Because I have to fetch to be able to play the Atraxa. So if I don't activate the ring, I take five and go to three. Then I go to one, and I can't even fetch to play the Atraxa anyway, so I just have to go for this. Uh, Mending is good. Those are not good. So now I'm at ten. Um... I guess I should main phase the Mending so they can't counter it. Okay, second ring is pretty nice. So now we can go... I have to play this because this is my only green source. Then we can try to hard cast the tracks the next turn, maybe. Mm, actually, I die if I hard cast the tracks, right? Because I go to 7. I have to shock. Go 7, go to 4. I have to shock, go to 2. Then I just die to the ring. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> That's really bad, too. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I could play second ring, which is fine. Like, I still have a lot of turns, right? I, I could just play the second ring, which is totally fine. Um, so I can go play second ring, keep this one, draw a card, and I guess we just mending. Why draw? That's a good question. There's not really a, a lot, a good reason to draw, right? Can Tef bounce ring? Yeah, I could do that too. Mm, I could mending now. I could also just go solitude ephemerate, which I think doing that now is pretty good. Mm, I want to pitch the mending though. I guess I can pitch the extra ephemerate. Yeah, that's fine. I want to do this now because I'm gonna run. On, I'm gonna. I'm going to go to discard if I don't. I guess I could just discard this. But then, I mean, I could also just find another... So we have to have to find Gorios. I don't think it matters at this point. I don't think anything matters. Just clicking some buttons. Pretending like my decisions matter. But I want to save the Teferi. Save the Teferi in case I need to bounce the ring again. But yeah, I don't. I don't think anything matters at this point. Mm -mm. I mean, in theory, no, because I can just, like, go to three, play Teferi, pick up the ring, well, draw cards, then pick up the ring, and just not cast it again. I can even, like, chump attack with the Solitude to gain life. Not that I want to do that, but... Okay, go to three. Draw some more cards! Draw some more cards! All right, that should be the end of the game. I will return my ring. I will uh, cast Faithful Mending. I will discard Atraxa and Spell Pierce. I will cast Gorio's Vengeance on Atraxa. Are we done? Mm, creature, instant, artifact. All right, cool. They don't want to play. All right, chat. It's getting extremely late. We got. I mean, I kind of want to finish out the league. All right, all right. You got one more match out of me. All right, this is what we call fast and loose magic. I don't know if this hand's a keep, but I got lands and spells, so I'm gonna keep. It's probably not a keep, but I just want. I'm playing fast and loose, cause I gotta. I gotta get these. I gotta get these rings back to Shane. <laughs> Okay, well, they're just going to put me into the dirt anyways. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Chat, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a wonderful day today. I appreciate each and every one of you supporting the stream. I had a lot of subs today, so thank you for thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. Again, I, uh, I, I say this every time, and I really mean it when I say it. I cannot do this without you guys. So thank you very much for your continued support of the stream. I appreciate each and every one of you. Maybe they've been a Traxa. Yeah, maybe in another world. Yeah, that's uh, not exactly what we're looking for. Not That is not exactly the card that we're looking for. The fact that we have two Gorios gone is so bad, too, because normally we'd, like, have outs to draw, but ha only having two left in the deck is kind of tough. If you get to four, you basically win. I mean, probably? That's good if I can find a blue source. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we, we can't ever beat Voidwalker. You have to hope they don't have that card. Well, that's not true. We have Prismatic Ending. We don't even care about this, right? I actually don't care about this at all. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we don't we don't literally don't care if they guess Voidwalker. I'll stay have another one. I mean, honestly, if I draw a lane, I think I'm probably favored. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Should not F6 in case they play Blood Moon. Probably a reason to get Basic Island, right? Yeah. I'm going to get Basic Island. <clears throat> all right. It's kind of the Stone Cold Nuts. Because that means I get all three basics, even if they Blood Moon me. They knew about the fancy one, right? I'm pretty sure they knew about the fancy one and not this one. I guess I can look. Yeah, they knew about the fancy one. Mm -mm. It's also sick because they can't even grief me now. <laughs> this card's so stupid. 
Yeah, nice grief. <laughs> nice four beta, nice fucking hell giant. Now, this is objectively the best art. I don't know what you're talking about. What are they doing? All right, sure. You have no cards. I would like to draw a card. All right, Goryos is definitely lethal, but we only have two left. That is not a Goryos. Uh, is there no... I guess I can't... Fe yeah, no, I have to just do this. No. Try and find Goryos next turn. Yeah, if I draw Salty, we're chilling. Although it's awkward, I only have I only have three basics in my deck, so this has to get a shock land. Houston. It's a pretty good one. Hmm. I mean, is there really there's no reason to do this now, right? Like I could fetch shock. I'm just not gonna do that. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, we go to three. We would. I mean I have the prismatic ending to not die to the ring, right? Like I can go ring. I go mending up to five, then I go to three next turn. I guess I lose to a lightning bolt? No, because I can flashback the mending, right? If I need to. Yeah, I can flashback the mending. I should honestly grief them in case they drew exactly a bolt, because I have an extra Drax anyways. So I'm going to start with this. I just want to see if they drew bolt so I can protect my solitude. That What? They didn't cast that? What the fuck? Why on earth did they not cast that? That's lunacy. What the hell? So I guess we killed the two griefs here. Yeah, we killed the two griefs. I probably should have just drew, drawn cards first. So we're targeting this one. Target this one. I don't know why they didn't cast Fury. That's insane to me. I'll do this now. Uh, I do have to mending, right? I guess I could just mending next turn. Upside of drawing Gorgo's Vengeance, if I'm mending here versus Falaji. Yeah, they could rip bolt, but even if they rip bolt, I can upkeep double mending, right? Oh, but I'm at three. They could just draw bolt for turn, yeah. Can't double mending. Oh, shit, I only have one blue source. Okay, I have to mending now then, yeah. I have to mending now. Uh, Fetch Shock to play Fable sounds unappealing, so let's do this. This works, right? Oh, wait, I just fucking killed myself to a removal spell, right? Yeah. Well, go to one, mending to three, then go to one, so I can't crack the fetch. Yeah, I can't crack the fetch. I'm not dead. The thoughts ease bug. That's why they didn't cast the first one. They just knew they had another one on top, you know? Like, why would I cast the first one? Which was just the, the most obvious card to cast, but I know I'm just going to draw another one anyways. See, I'm just like you. Yeah, classic thoughts ease. Okay, so upkeep mending. Fuck, I don't have any more basics. I, I, don't, I actually don't think I have any outs now. Yeah, I don't think I have any outs. Damn it. Still draw for turn? Yeah, but I have, I have no outs. Right, it doesn't matter. Who did we get scammed last time? One of the Bowmasters and the Prismatic Ending. I don't think I wanted the Soul Guides. Uh, Thought Seizes and the Griefs are kind of bad. I guess I'll keep in, like, the first Thought Seize. Yeah, what a weird game. I, don't, I still don't understand why they didn't cast that Fury. It's very bizarre. Um, <laughs> These fables, huh? So how about these fables? Ah, I'm still keeping, whatever. We got a Falaji. We have the, the best answer to Ragavan. I am an asshole. Didn't want to extend to another Solitude Ephemerate. I mean, I was kind of fucked if they had... Or, they were kind of fucked if I had Solitude Ephemerate anyways, right? Like, adding... I mean... I don't know. Like, if they didn't draw exactly Fury, I think I would have won that game 100% of the time. Yeah, nice monkey. I'm gonna block. 
Maybe it's better to go Ketria Prismatic Ending. Two Atraxas exiled. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Uh, eight and one, yeah. Probably about to be eight and two. I didn't realize they had Ley Lines. Not about all of that, though. So... Hmm. Get a Mending. I think it's better... Hmm. I could save the Prismatic Ending for Leyline, right? Just go Flooded Strand for Sacred Foundry, Fable, and then try to Prismatic Ending kill the Leyline. It's not a bad idea. That gives me a blocker for the Ragavan, too. I'm going to try that. I think that's I think that's a better line. Just beat them fair. I mean... Either way, I still think playing Fable is likely better. And then I could just take the trade. It's like, it kind of answers the Ragavan, but also gives me a potential answer to this Leyline. I guess this is worse if they play Blood Moon. Maybe. <clears throat> I mean, they would have played a discard spell by now if they had it, right? Just the easiest block of my life. Run away. Yeah, I guess if they Blood Moon me, I might just play the second Fable. Probably will, actually. Yeah, we can get rid of the Ephemerate and the Ketria. And then just deploy second fable. Save the ring. Because if we get a treasure off this, we can just kill the blood moon. They have land fury, it's bad. We can just beat them with fables. Uh, I could probably get rid of both of these lands. Okay. Combat. Mm -mm -mm. Now I can go Prismatic Ending, kill Blood Moon, and play Falaji. I think they're holding Fury. I mean, when they have Blood Moon in play, that's kind of a big mistake, right? Like, there's no way they should ever hold the Fury there. Like, they just hard cast to kill this, and they're still in a pretty good spot, right? I mean, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure if they had the... Uh... Found a third Fable, too. I'm pretty sure if they had the Fury, they would have cast it. I, I think so. Like, now it's just Jover. It's pretty easy when you draw a triple Fable against Blood Moon. Um, I guess... I mean, like, what am I even... What am I even worried about at this point? I don't even know. Anything? Does anything concern me? What if I just played another Fable? I can also hold up making reflection tokens. Mm, I'll just play Fable. Go. I could still make three reflection tokens if I want to. Well, holding up reflection is like not that great if they draw terminate because they can just respond to be copying the like on the first copy. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we figured out why this deck is playing Fable because it's really fucking good against Blood Moon. I was a little sus in the Fables before, but yeah, if, if your opponent has Blood Moon, that's probably the best card you can have against it. Uh, Yeah, like, you can just keep hands like this. I mean, I guess this hand is maybe mid if they go exactly Ragavan into Blood Moon, but I'm not going to mull a hand like this. Yeah, they had Leyline and Blood Moon, it just didn't matter. Yeah, Ragavan either? Let's go. I don't want to get Swamp or Island. Probably uh, probably Island, actually. Because the Goryos is less relevant versus the Leyline. Yeah, let's get Island. Mm, I guess Island's worse if they don't have Blood Moon. Because then I just don't have black mana. But what are my black cards that I'm even drawing towards? Like, Thoughtseize, Goryos, which is offline. Yeah, I'm just going to get Island. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure they have Blood Moon. Um, so they moon, I fable. Do I want the ring or ending? I probably still want the ring, TBH. Yeah, I guess Bowmaster is a reason. That's what they're probably casting. No, they just have Terminate. Okay, sure. What the hell did you keep? Now I can get planes. What did they keep, chat? What is happening? All right, cast this card. <coughs> Yeah, ring finds me basics. Yeah, I guess they just, like, thought I was colded by the ley line. Sure. <laughs> yeah, clearly ley line just wins the batch by itself. <laughs> Doffy Voidwalker. Okay, that card is good. 
Yeah, we have an answer. I can get rid of... I mean, this is probably a good turn to play the ring, right? Because they can't discard spell me. I think just the Gorios is discarded. I don't need it to win. Yeah, I think... No, let's play the Fable. I'm going to hold the ring. If they have a discard spell, I can just Solitude the Voidwalker in response. Pitch the Mending. I could have Shock there, too, to hold up Ephemerate, which might have been good. Let me check what way it was exiled. Oh, it just doesn't have a counter on it. Huh, that's weird. Why does it work like that? Oh, because there's two replacement effects. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. I see. Don't they get the choose, though? Like, shouldn't they get the choose? I'm just not going to discard. <laughs> I'm just going to hard cast the Atraxa. <laughs> You thought we choose. I, I don't actually know how it works, but apparently we choose. You own the card being replaced. Yeah, so I should get the choose, but it didn't ask me if I wanted the choose. Right, which is the weird part. I'm, I'm literally just going to hard guess the Traxa. <laughs> I'm going to hard guess the Traxa through a Blood Moon, which is fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Like, they're going to cast Blood Moon this turn, and I'm just going to hard guess the Traxa anyways. Maybe timestamp? Maybe... I'm not sure how it works. Please cast Blood Moon. Yeah, it's the same thing. All right, whatever. They still die. I guess they could find Grief Blackguard. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Combat. Attack. Not timestamped as a choice for the replacement order. Right, so the person controlling the card that's being exiled should get the choose. on uh, Under normal circumstances, I think, right? I thought that's the way it worked, but maybe Moto just doesn't recognize that. Uh, instant creature enchantment. All right, they don't want to play anymore. Well, that was fun. <laughs> they don't want to play anymore, chat. Where'd they go? Hard gas the tracks, a baby. All right, so nine and one on the day with this. Only taking an Elden Murktide, which I do think is maybe not a great matchup the way that we have constructed this deck list, but uh, this, felt, this felt pretty fucking good. Not going to lie. Yeah, I got to give Shana's rings back. Uh, chat, thank you again so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I had a blast tonight. Thanks again for tuning in. I think we're going to play, maybe go back to Pioneer a little bit tomorrow because I really want to try that Pia deck. So I'm going to play some Pioneer tomorrow maybe we'll come back to the ring because that card is kind of broken and uh, Curd Bro said he can let me some tomorrow. So uh, I will see you tomorrow.